if you are someone who visits cafes regularly i'm sure you would have definitely tried these cookies it looks like a d and i like to think that the d stands for delicious apart from being delicious these are also very dry so that you can enjoy them with your coffee or tea for that matter today i'm making my favorite fancy cookie known as biscotti or biscot let's begin this cookie has an italian origin the unique thing about these cookies are that they are twice baked because of this it doesn't cause that awful splash when you dip it in tea or coffee let's begin i'm going to add melted butter in my bowl make sure that your butter is melted but is at room temperature not hot next i'm going to add in caster sugar and milk just stir this now to this i'm going to add in flour next i'm adding in almond flour this keeps my cookie light and crumbly baking powder and just a pinch of salt now all you have to do is mix this together but do not over mix once the dry and wet ingredients have mixed perfectly you should stop mixing it if you over mix the cookie dough it will turn out very hard and it won't be very nice to eat so this is done to this now i'm going to add almonds these are not roasted these are whole almonds you can also use chopped almond after mixing it for a couple of seconds the dough has come together now i'm going to place this on a line tray just pick it up and place it in the center of your parchment paper and turn it into almost a rectangular log Make sure that your log is at least an inch in height. This is going to expand a little more while it's baking. You must be wondering where the D shape is. That comes in the next bake. This is going to be our first bake. Now I'm going to bake this at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. After the first bake I will cool this down on a grill for 10 to 15 minutes. Now that our log has cooled down it's time to cut it. The texture of our log currently is like a sweet bread which is hard from outside but soft from inside. Let's slice through and have a look. Use a serrated knife so that you can cut your biscotti properly. Your knife has to be sharp as well otherwise your cookies will crumble. I'm going to slice this into 1 in chunks. Now I'm going to place these on my tray. Just turn them around so that they face up. If you notice right now the cookies have a bready texture. We want to convert this into crunchy cookies and that is the reason we bake this again. This recipe will give you around 8 to 10 biscotti. Now I'm going to bake this for the second time at 170 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes or until it turns nice, golden and crispy. After the second bake while the cookies are cooling down let's talk about the variations that are possible with biscotti you can use chocolate chunks or any other dry fruit of your choice you can also use other nuts like cashew nuts or walnuts based on your liking biscotti is ready you can enjoy it with coffee or any other hot beverage of your choice You need to give this recipe a try so that you too can enjoy a splash free chai coffee experience. When you try this out, let me know how it turns out in the comment section below. I'll see you next time.